Back live at Indianapolis, Jeff Ward still the leader. He is pulling away from second place. It's now Tony Stewart. It appears that Scott Goodyear is having some problem. Ari Leyendijk's been battling with him as well. And here is that pass as Tony Stewart moved on the main stretch on the number six Mortel car of Scott Goodyear and got past the Ari Leyendijk. There he was, but he got caught up behind him. Well, Goodyear tried to block the lower lane, and uh, Stewart just went right around the outside. Now we're going to go commercial free to the end of this race. If there is no yellow, Jeff Ward still leading here. Now, at 180 laps in the past year, the guy leading at 180 certainly was not the winner of the race. We are on the 183rd lap of this run. Now, can they make it through to the end of the race? We'll start with Gary Terrell. And in the Jeff Ward first plus fits, I can tell you that the tension is mounting. They have gone conservative. They told him to go down two clicks on fuel. They told us they would need yellow to go to the distance. We've got 16 laps to go, running on time. Goodyear back around Tony Stewart. The battle continues behind Ward. Boy, a, a quick move there, too. Very quickly, suddenly, Goodyear was around Stewart, Jack. And Scott Goodyear has taken the whip to his car despite a severe understeer, meaning the car wants to go out to the wall with the nose. Ari Leyendijk's understeer that we told you about has gone away, but he's not having the same sort of run in traffic. Those two drivers have been informed that the leader will have to stop for fuel. So they say they're racing with Tony Stewart. Let's check in on Buddy Lazier and Tony Stewart with Dr. Punch. While Jack Lazier continues to lose RPM, they're just hoping the engine will hold together for the final 15 laps. He's trying to hold on the fifth spot. Meanwhile, in Tony Stewart's pit, they have told him that they are definitely short on fuel. They have leaned the Stewart card out and told him you've got to conserve fuel. When they told him that, that's exactly when Goodyear went back by. Paul? You saw Ari Leyendijk is following, following back from the leader of the race. That pass that Scott Goodyear just made about two laps ago. And as we take a look at it. Paul, that was not anything to do with fuel. He had to go around a slower car around the outside of four, and Scott Goodyear got a run on him and just ran him down on the straight and passed him around one. Yeah, sure what it looks like here. Dennis Patolo, the intervening car. Here it is there. Now watch this. There's Goodyear, comes to the outside. That red car had held Tony Stewart up right there, Paul. Yeah, the pass comes on the straightaway, but where it really started was in the corner. Tony had to give him a little more room, had, was real cautious, wasn't sure, couldn't really anticipate what that guy might do, and gave him more room than he needed to. Yeah, careful play by Tony Stewart. You now ride with okay, Leyendijk. Calm down now. We're all right. We've got 13 laps to go. Just remember, troops, I still predict they're all going to have to stop and get a little bit of fuel. That's really going to set the stage for a race. Well, I agree with you, Bobby. Uh, just moments ago, Ari was trying to get up on Tony Stewart. And look at this, drove him right down, wheel in the really? grass, he maintained control. Wow. Unbelievable. That was a bad one. That really could have been a bad wreck there. I'm amazed that he drove in the grass that long without getting the car sideways. He couldn't pull it back on quick, Tom, as you know, he didn't fun. Does that tell you something about the skill of Ari Leyendijk? Jeff Ward, out in front of the field. Rookie leader, we're listening to Ari Leyendijk's radio now. Tony Stewart ahead. Ward is 11.8 seconds ahead of second. Crash down here in four. We got a crash down here in four. Yellow comes on, crash in four. Danny Sullivan called it. And it's Steve Kinzer. Steve Kinzer catches the wall coming off of four. And another car got up into it. He's right in front of you, Paul, down. He's up against the wall going into one. Couldn't tell who it was. Lynn St. James looks like that other car still riding the wall coming down through the first turn. That, that's not Lynn St. James. That, of course, is uh, Scott Kinzer there. Steve. Or Steve Kinzer. Thank you to Scott Goodyear. Steve appears to be just fine. 
Steve's fine. You can see him slapping his hands on his helmet. Uh, he, he felt like he's made a mistake. He's upset about being out. The key here is what the leaders are going to do. I, th I think we're all going to see some pit stops right now. First in, first out, too, Tom. Remember that. That's going to be a decision pretty quick. Well, Steve Kinzer and Lynn St. James were running together. Here's the replay, Tom, on board Kinzer. Yep. The car's slow on the inside here. Steve, oh, actually might have just clipped the wheels with him as he went around. Steve pulled down on him right there, Tom. Well, I don't know if he pulled down. I don't think he pulled down. He just didn't give him enough room going yeah. by on the outside. Well, look at that. If that didn't pull it down, I don't know what it is. Well, obviously, Steve is trying to cut it as close, not trying to get out of the groove any farther than he had to. So Lynn St. James gets the wall. She comes up against the wall as Kinzer loses it after appearing to brush with Buzz Calkins in the 12 car. So the yellow out, eighth of the day, and Jeff Ward's advantage has just gone away. We'll return with more after this message and a word from our ABC stations. 21 Alive News, always a part of your life. The 81st running of the Indianapolis 500 on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Brought to you by Valvoline Durablend, the number one selling semi-synthetic motor oil. Genuine Chevrolet, the cars more Americans trust. AT&T, it's all within your reach. And Goodyear, number one in tires. Looking down on the giant two and a half miles of Indy from the Goodyear blimp Spirit from Akron. It's the largest airship in the world, one of four that Goodyear owns. The latest launch last week in Guadalajara, Mexico, and it'll cover a number of Mexican automobile races. Now, General Hospital will follow our coverage of the Indianapolis 500. Jeff Ward leads it. His lead, though, has evaporated with this yellow flag. He's followed by Scott Goodyear, Tony Stewart, Ari Leyendijk, and Buddy Lazier. Paul Tracy, Allenser Jr., and Michael Andretti battle it out in the Detroit Grand Prix. See why they call it the Motor City. June 8th on ABC Sports. 192 laps complete while we were away. The die was cast for the leader, Jeff Ward. He's no longer the leader. He came in for a splash of fuel. It took 5.8 seconds. He's back up there. Now you wonder, will the leaders have enough to get to the end? Jack? Well, two guys that are leading, Scott Goodyear leading his teammate, Ari Leyendike, they stayed out, inherited first and second. They don't intend to come in. Jerry? Well, Tony Stewart made a pit stop. They were trying to do some calculations here. Larry Curry now talking to the USAC official about the fact that his driver trying to get back up through the field, back to a proper starting position. They calculated they were going to be about two gallons short, two gallons of the lap and a half here in Indianapolis. They had to come in for a splash. Paul? What a gamble being taken now as Lion Dyke, his teammate, Scott Goodyear, they stay out. Eddie Cheever and Dick Karen, their team manager, brings in Jeff Ward's car. He was working on being the first rookie since Graham Hill in 66 when they had that first lap accident then. Now we are getting ready to go back to the green flag again. Already the pace car is off. 192nd lap complete. We're green. Here we go. The final laps at Indianapolis. They spread out in a battle for third. The Treadway team cars lead it into the first turn. Remember, Paul, we don't know this got good here, and Lion Dyke are going to have enough fuel. It's going to be awful close. Also, Bobby, do you think there's any team orders here? I'm sure that they are, but, uh, you know, racing is a gamble a lot of times. All the time. Scott Goodyear has been so close, but here comes Leyendijk. Leyendijk, they go into the corner side by side, and Leyendijk takes the lead of the 500. You know they're both trying to save fuel, but it looks like Scott stayed, tried to save a little bit too much by going to a too high of a gear. Okay, now hang in there. Well, I don't, well, I don't know about the team orders oh, here with eight laps to go. I don't see there are going to be any team orders. Listening to Ari Leyendijk's radio. Lion Dyke, Goodyear, Lazier Ward, that's the order. You guys are eight seconds, seven seconds ahead of third. Just you two. 
Do you think they put team orders in there and tell them to slow down and conserve fuel so they have a one-two finish? Now the team orders were obviously just don't come in and get fuel, save all you can. This is it, we're going for it. Okay, we need to go back to zero on the fuel. We're looking good, zero on the fuel. That should pick up the pace. Stewart, they brought the yellow out again. Well, this Five is, to go. This is going to be the difference in the race right here. Report is that there's a piece of debris, a, a mirror came off of one of the cars, and it's in the racing line, so they want to get it off of there. I'd say Lion Dye could play a lot of money for that mirror right now. <laughs> well, be to check his car make sure it isn't his. They split that mirror laying out the middle of the track. Boy, this is really a lucky thing. just down from you, isn't it, Bobby? Yes, it is. It's really, really, really a lucky thing for Lion Dyke. It's good here because I think they were close. All they're going to do is get that off. Pick it up, and away they go here. And, yeah, that can go right back. The, the emergency station is right there. There's a break in the wall. Good thing they saw that. That would have really cut a tire, Paul. Hey, guys, let me update you on Scott Goodyear. He's been radioed back and forth to his crew. He was explaining what gear he was in. When that pass was made, and as you look at Bob, Le at Buddy Lazier, looks like the mirror came off of his car and right on board of him. Yeah, his getting, right mirror is gone, Jack. Getting back to the Goodyear story. There you see where the mirror is missing. Goodyear actually was in the fourth gear as we get ready to go back to green. Goodyear thought he was back in fourth gear. All right, we're ready to go green once again. Ari Leyendijk just passed his teammate at Treadway Racing, Scott Goodyear. They are leading the 500. Rookie Jeff Ward sits in third, but he has to deal with Tony Stewart, who has a very powerful machine. And Buddy Lazier, the defending champion, sits in fifth place. They'll come back with just four to go. And the way I see it, that's about a two and a half million dollar mirror for the Treadway team at this point. Don't forget that Scott Goodyear has twice been involved in controversy at the finish. Won the closest finish, not so much a controversy. And then once when he passed the pace car and the win went to Jack Belknap because of that. Pace comes up. Here we go. Closing laps. They're running for the checkered flag. They're running for the checkered flag. Three to go. dictated by restarts, but here it doesn't look like anybody got a big jump. Goodyear wasn't able to get a big jump on like he almost grazed the wall so uh um. well we'll go back take a look at it of course when a car touches the wall that's when you're going to go yellow here again on board stewart you can see him Ooh, oh boy good, good that, brush. that was a certified hit yeah that's uh that's a pretty good hit obviously under steering he's pressing too hard to try to close the gap and made a little mistake that Did shows you how much the front wings do because you get a little disturbed there from the other cars there and kept standing on the gas and ran out of racetrack. So Ari Leyendijk will come around and he has a yellow out at the start finish line. Leyendijk, there he is. You're on board him. The white flag is there and they're going to go green for the final lap. Here we go. One more. Will be decided. Get going, buddy. Get going.
Indy 500. Scott Goodyear finishes in second. Followed by Jeff Ward, the rookie, Buddy Lazier, and Tony Stewart, who brought to the wall. Davey Hamilton was six. Billy Boat, Robbie Buell, and Robbie Groff. Here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Ari Leyendijk has made his way into victory lane, and Ari, that white flag, green flag situation startled you and a lot of people. Well, a good thing I was running in, I don't remember what gear, but I just went down one gear and it picked up real nice. And then the light went back yellow, but I just kept going. I said, the hell, if they don't know what they're doing, I better just keep doing what I've been doing. So I just want to thank Treadway, Mr. Treadway, Fred. I haven't seen him yet for a great team. My engineer, Tim Wardrip, Skip Fall, the guys. This is a special victory for this team as well because you were some of the first supporters of the Indy Racing League and last year you set 235 mile an hour plus laps, not good enough for the pole. Then you go out and you think you were going to win and that wasn't good enough because of Eliseo Salazar, but you're here now. I'm here now and I was count. Uh, Fred Treadway put a great effort in. I mean, we have the best team. Woo! We got the best guys on the crew and uh, you couldn't ask for more as a race car driver. Any better than last year, other than 1990? Yeah, it's been a long time ago. This is a lot better. Thank you. Let's go back to the tower. All right, here's exactly what they were talking about. There is the light. See it down in the corner. They're coming to the start-finish line for the restart. The race has started. Now look up at the top of the screen for the flagman. He's already waving, but the, the light is yellow. That's the controversy. That's the confusion. And unfortunately, Scott Goodyear is caught in it again. Scott Gary. Goodyear talking to an assembly of media folks down here. Scott, they, they really worked hard and uh, they really made the car come back. We were really fighting at the beginning. We went backwards at the beginning. So um, we fought all day long. We did a lot of good stops. Engineering and that sort of thing um, was really good. We were strong. We just had a little bit too much. Scott, for this national audience, can you tell us now about this controversy on the restart? What you saw? Were you aware you were going green with a lap to go? Absolutely not. I thought we were going to finish underneath that. We didn't have any indication at all. I had no indication on the radio. And uh, unfortunately, we came down, and then uh, my guy yelled to me, green, green, green. And uh, we weren't even, we were still in yellow fuel. We didn't have the acceleration. And that is the key lap of the whole race, obviously, because uh, you want to get a draft. You want to get the guy going into the next turn and lead coming down the straight. So Did you think you had any chance of getting him had you known it was going green? Well, I probably would have been on the gas a lot sooner than what I was. And, um, you know, I don't think he really even expected it and uh, the end result obviously is I'm not sure if we would have or not but we had a lot a lot of drag in the car to run all day to get through the traffic but uh, you know overall a one-two finish for Treadway and Northern Telecom so I mean that's a bonus but uh, Scott, Scott Goodyear for the second time in recent years and major controversy at the finish Paul Celebration in victory lane, the Valvoline race summary. There it is, Ari Leyendijk, unofficially the winner of the Indy 500 at an average speed 145 miles an hour. Seven liters, 16 changes in what was a great race. The final standings, they are unofficial until later in the day, but it's Leyendijk, Goodyear, you look down the order. Controversy at the front once again. Jeff Ward, the rookie, with a fabulous, fabulous run. So the Indianapolis 500 81st version is now complete. I'm Paul Page. So long from Indianapolis, General Hospital is coming up next. This has been a presentation of ABC Sports, home of the Triple Crown.